Hi guys, Darkfangs2 here. So I've been messing around with the command blocks in 1.9 and I wanted to see if there was a better way to make a row of command blocks execute tick by tick. So I would have this on one tick, this on the next, this on the next tick, etc. Um, so previously what you had to do was you would have a row of command blocks like this and you would place like a redstone block in this empty space right here. This would be the command that you wanted to execute. So this would be the one and then the next and then the next. And then you needed to have one of these two setting the next one in the row to a redstone block right here and the other one filling that with air. And so obviously this is a pretty bulky design and you can't put it another row right here because of the fact that the redstone block would be triggering both command blocks. So you would actually have to have a space between the rows. And so obviously that's extremely bulky. So what I have here is a new way to do this involving almost all three. If you count the, this one that starts it off, yes, all three different ty new types of command blocks and some of the new mechanics as well. So if I step on this pressure plate, you're gonna see that command block go down the row and do a bunch of stuff. And here I'll do that again and So, basically what this is doing is, it's if I set auto to 0B here, we can look at what this is doing. So this is spawning a command block that looks like this. And basically what this is doing is, it's a repeatable command block, so it's every tick it's cloning itself to the next block and since it's using the move argument in the clone command it's moving itself block by block by block now um, this is usually set to doesn't need redstone always active so that it can just go down the line but I turn that off for um, display purposes so we have that and then um, here, let me set this back so auto right here is the tag um, it's kind of annoying because it's split in half Oh, there we go. Okay, so auto is the tag that is used to uh, show that it does not need redstone. So basically what this is doing is since it's pointing upwards as it goes down the line, and these are always active chain command blocks, um, since they're being pointed into by that block that's going down the line, they're being activated. And you could even do something like put multiple command blocks here and then if I do that one and slash say hi then on the first tick we can get this command block and that command block which wasn't possible with this and so basically what this is doing as it moves down the line every tick it's activating and since it's pointing up into this one this one is activating too and uh, so I just have some various things set up I so I have slash say one two three and then I have the slash say hi on the same tick as the one. And then here I have this setting that to a diamond block. But in between these, I have two pieces of sandstone. And another good thing about this is you can easily create delays. So this is a two tick delay because there are two ticks between these two blocks where the command block uh, has to move, but it's not actually um, activating any command blocks, so there's a delay between these two. So it's very easy to create delay. So this is setting it to a diamond block up there. This one, slash say hi again. Um, this one summons a zombie with health zero, so it just instantly dies. So this is just showing that you can basically do any command, and you just put however many sandstone blocks you want to be the delay in between them. And um, then we have this one that says the end, and this command block here is marking the end of the, um, the set of command blocks. Basically, it's just filling the block above it with air, and it's a, a clock, and it's always active. So when the, um, like the shuttle command block reaches here, that's just going to get deleted by this one, and all will be good. And if you don't have this, um, there are several command blocks in unloaded chunks in this world that are still going. So, yeah, there's that. And um, notice that this command block on the end, it's even though it's over this, the um, deleting command, it still gets activated. So let's just watch that one more time. Uh, 
Did I screw something up? Oh, yep, I left auto at zero. Okay, let's switch that back to one. And now let's watch it one more time so you can see it going down the line. And I'll play that back in slow motion for you so you can see what's going on. So, um, one really good thing about this is I can have as many rows as I want and they can be right next to each other. So, if I turn on this lever, um, and then I activate it, you can actually see that it's going to go down this first row here, and then it's going to go down the second. So I'll get as good a view of that as possible. So you, there you You can see it's going down both rows. And then I just have a thing set up here that says this is, and then the second row and I put some delays in there again and then um, the block that finishes it is just here and uh, so the way this works is I have a block that's very similar to this one right here but instead of um, instead of just deleting it it's actually gonna clone it all the way back here so and then one important thing with this command so it's basically a move command that replaces the one that's being executed every tick. One important thing is make sure to put masked here because there are some glitches with it copying an air block every time that make this whole thing break. So when you're using this, it needs to be masked here. And then I just have another fill command block here that ends it. Also, one thing to note is if I had a command block here instead of a sandstone block, it would get activated. So. If you don't want to one tick delay between the rows, there should be a command block above this clone command. So here I'll play this one more time. And so you could have as many rows as you want. And so this is really useful for something like if you want to make a thing that replicates movement in the player, um, then teleporting them every tick is a good way to make it look like you're moving. So. Um, this is really useful and it's a lot more compact each row only takes up two blocks versus the six plus a space that uh, each row would take up previously so it's really helpful to have this and uh, so this this is just creating a command block here one thing to note is that uh, when you're spawning in the command block, one means it's facing upward on the damage value. If you want it facing downward, the system will still work. Um, then you can just put a, um, a zero as the damage value. And in addition, um, you could also make it facing sideways or any other direction you want, which is another useful thing. But I like upward or downward because you can chain more things on the top. But if you had... Um, two rows so let's see is this there we go so like say here is where the command block goes this just to show its path and then you had um chain command blocks here and then you have another row of these um then you can't chain more stuff off of these because of the fact that there's the second row in the way so it's uh i prefer upwards because you can have as many commands as you want on one tick. So that's basically how to create a more compact uh, tick by tick execution thing in Minecraft 1.9. And I will post this command in the description and uh, also this one, the clone command. Obviously, you have to change this to however far back you just uh, you. You have to be mindful to change the variables to match what you're doing. So this is minus 12 because you go back 12 blocks. And then um, minus 1 on the Z axis because we're moving it um, that direction, which happens to be negative Z. So if you're doing this, make sure it fits with the axis that you're going making the execution along. And um, I'll also post this one in the description, but that's pretty easy. It's just filling the block above it with air. So that's basically how the uh, the new way of executing command blocks tick by tick works. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I definitely know that I'm going to have some use for it in updating things that I've previously made that can now be a lot more compact because of this. So I hope you enjoyed. 
If you like this video, please leave a like. It really helps. And subscribe if you want to see more uh, cool command block stuff like this because I really like playing around with it. And I have several things planned for 1.9. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.